Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina. Greg Stevens here. We're here with another exciting video for you and today we got a good subject that's going to help a lot of you people out there. Today we're going to be talking about spider mites. Mm -hmm. And these are one destructive little insect that you don't even know you have until your plant is almost dead or unable to bring back from the dead. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, hit that subscribe button and join our family and become part of the Cashier Greens where we cover almost every single plant that we can think of and how to propagate, how to treat it, how to take cuttings from it, everything. So today we're covering the, the spider mites, mites and these are one nasty little bug. So the first thing you want to do when you have a plant that is in trouble, mm -hmm. you need to look at how often are you watering it, you got to look at the pH, mm -hmm. are you over fertilizing it, is the plant in direct sunlight for too long and it's burning it. Uh, there's a lot of different things you want to check over your plant. But mm -hmm. the first thing you want to do when you have a plant that's not looking at, at its best is start looking to see if there's mm -hmm. any pests that are treating it. Well, the most obvious ones you look for are the aphids yes. and the mealybugs and the um, scales. Mm -hmm. If you don't see any of those or caterpillars, if you don't see any of that, the next thing you got to look for are the spider mites and these are so often overlooked because they're very very tiny little insects they're only one one hundredth of an inch wow you that's can't, too small <laughs> you can't see them with your naked eye unless you have uh, a real lens. direct bright sunlight or a magnifying glass here's your magnifying glass and this is my little cheap magnifying glass <laughs> you can buy these at the dollar store whatever it comes with a little has a little light in it but you hold it up next to your next to your leaf look under the light and study it and you'll see these little tiny white specks that are moving around on there. These are your spider mites. They are actually spiders. They are in the arachnid family. They have eight legs. And um, once you see them, you will detect either a few of them or if you have a heavy infestation, you will start to see the webbing that they create in mm -hmm. between the branches. And when they hit that stage, your plant's in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard to, to, to bring it back, but we're going to show you what you can do to help this plant survive. You may mm -hmm. have to take some cuttings off and remove some of the plant, but we're going to teach you how to do this and, this, and how to treat it with and without um, a, a, a solution. Okay, so Marceline is going to take over from here and she's <laughs> going to fill you in some more on these. Okay, mites. all right, guys. So, spider mites, as Greg mentioned, it is so tiny and it's hard to see with your naked eyes. You need a magnifying lens. 20x is uh, great because you can see it through and also you can uh, see it under microscopic. Now, as uh, we mentioned, that it is very serious pest, mostly on house plants and greenhouses because they like. They like Hot, warm temperature. Dry temperature. Yeah. And the if your house is near 80 degrees, that's the optimal oh my gosh. temperature for spider mites to breed. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the cycle of the plants, the first thing that you, if you notice the leaves of the plants look like a thousand tiny spotted dots and turns white to the, yellow the, appearance. The bottom, the bottom of the leaf will actually look silverish color, kind of grayish color. And that's when you have a ton of spider mites on that mm -hmm. leaf and it starts to change the color of the leaf. You'll start to see the leaf starting to withdraw because they're sucking all of the sap out of that leaf. So let me show you guys uh, one of the plants that attacked by spider mites. This is the plants that we purchased from other growers and I keep this away from other plants and show it Whenever to you. Whenever you buy a new plant? Yeah. Put it, it to a, you. put it in isolation. So as you can see this one here, you might think that it is uh, it is caused by too much, you know, too much heat or drought or any kind of stress in plants. But actually, this is caused by spider mites. And you don't see a weaving in mm. this plant. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. If you, see so this, if you see the webbing in between the little branches here, you have a heavy infestation of spider mites on this plant. It's pitiful. Yeah, it's... <laughs> so what do, you, what, what do you do if you notice that there is a spider mite infestation? So the first thing, as I mentioned, remove this plant right away. This is what we did. We removed this plant because we don't want to infest yeah. the spider mite in our home. They will spread from plant to plant and your, everything will be messed up. Okay, <laughs> so what do, what do you do with this? You have to remove the infestation. Now, 
this is very risky. Let me, uh, where is the thing? Hold on. All right, so the, the thing you need to do is to remove this dirt, uh, did steam and make sure that you remove all of this Yeah, don't damage. leave any dead leaves laying in the pot because these things will go into the soil as well. So this is what you do and make sure you remove all of this. Now after you remove all the damage of spider mites, you will need to treat them accordingly. And Greg is going to uh, share with you the best treatment of spider mites so you can apply this method because spider mites is terrible and it can kill the plants if the infestation is too heavy. Leave all some right. leaves on there for the chlorophyll production. You don't want to take them all off. Just the damage. Yeah. Okay, now about it's that, removed. Yeah. Now okay. the, the next one is Okay, How the do next you thing we want to do is we want to take this either under the sink or take it outside in the backyard. Take your hose and put it on shower and just spray it really, really good. Massage the leaves a little bit to break away any of the eggs because the eggs will be attached to the leaves. And the water, a lot of times, by itself, the pressure isn't going to remove it. It has an adhesive onto the eggs, so they stick on there. Mm -hmm. So you want to rub the leaf when you spray it. Um, you could even take a little soapy water. And, and hit it with a sponge or wipe it off that way. And the life cycle is 25 days, five mm -hmm. to 25 days, depending on the temperature. Optimal temperatures will accelerate that cycle. 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that is that is. Yeah, so if you're in the house, if your temperature in your house is hot, they're gonna breed even faster. Mm -hmm. um, you, when you're washing this with a hose, the only thing, however, you cannot do is the soil you can't you can't wash the soil out you have to the take best thing out you can do is take it out wash the plant the roots off repot it with new soil not bad option um, you're going to have to do this every five to seven days if you're using water because some of these eggs you're not going to get them all they're going to be in the little cracks or they're going to you're going to mm -hmm. have another outbreak of them and you think it's done you think they're done no they're not they're very resilient and they will come back again you're mm -hmm. controlling it with the water, but you're not eradicating it with water. If you want to eradicate it with water, or if you want to eradicate it and get rid of it completely, you need to get the Acetec Plus. Mm -hmm. This stuff is amazing. You're going to spray this on your plant, remove it just like just the other one. did. Get rid of all. That's okay. Just get rid of all of the um, get rid of all of the the damaged leaves and stems. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is Take the Azatec Plus. And you're going to spray the tops. And you want to get underneath the plant like this. And then do the stem because these spider mites will crawl up and down the stem. And then last, you want to spray the soil. Give it a good dosing because these spider mites live in the soil. And if you have a plant like our, we have an arborvita tree that we thought was dying because it wasn't getting enough water. Mm -hmm. Then we found out that it was spider mites that was killing our arborvita. It, it killed. And it the killed winter, the winter will put them to sleep, but they go down into the soil and they hibernate. And then in the spring, they come back up and, and finish the job of killing your plant. And then when that plant is dead, boom, they jump over to the next arborvita plant and, then and they start them. working on that one. So our arborvita that was almost dead has a plant beside it, it's uh, and it's getting a little infestation about oh about six to twelve inches spot on there where it looks like it's dying, and it's really weird the way uh, that that works. You think your plant is dying, it's arborvitae, and be careful when you go to the box stores when they have their mm -hmm. evergreens on sale at the big box stores if right you now. See their, their evergreens are on sale, and if you see like they're Alberta spruces and the arborvitaes and they've got big brown spots mm -hmm. on them, don't don't, don't buy it because it. that's already been infected with the spider mites and it's going to wake up in the springtime. Mm -hmm. They say, you don't even have to pot them right now. You can wait till spring uh. to pot them. When you pot them in the spring and put them in the ground, the spider mites are waking up and they start attacking the tree. Your tree will be probably dead by June or so, July. So even yeah. if it is cheap? Yeah, it takes one season takes for one them day. to kill a six foot arborvita tree. One season, the tree is dead. Just rip and it out of the ground. You cannot recover it. No, you you cannot recover, recover it. once it's so dead. So what you have to do is with the Azatec 
mm-hmm. is you put put this in a big sprayer and you treat the whole plant and then mm-hmm. you have to make a water solution with this and pour it in the ground to kill the spider mites that are down deep into the soil around the root ball. So, uh, so if they uh, so they have three days to hatch the eggs, three right? Three days. To the hatch. eggs hatch in and three days. And in 25 days, days to full size. Okay. So they go from the egg, then they larv- go to the larvae. Larva. From the larvae, they go into a two to nymphal, nymphal stage. stage, which is called the proto nymph and, the, and the dudo nymph. Those are the differences. One's a little bit larger than the other, um, and then you have the adult. So you have to understand the cycle of the pest when you treat when you treat the spider now, mites because when we were studying the spider mites, Marcelina informed me of something in the life cycle that was really, really interesting and that's the relationship between the male and the female. Tell them about that. That's, <laughs> this is really kind of cool. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, you know, the, it's really weird because the spider mite, uh, no, I mean, mealybugs and aphids are domesticated by ants. So they will carry the eggs and put in the leaves of the plant. So they, you know, in re- return um, sweet honey. Yeah. Now the f- the spider mites, they will carry, the male will carry the f- pregnant female, so it is not carried by ants, and then they will place in uh, underside on the leaves when the temperature is warmer. So the female continues to breed in the plants and then Lazy the, cycle, the cycle <laughs> starts. Okay. So okay. basically we control the aphids, yes. we control mealybugs, we don't have mealybugs, yes. and even the gnats, we control gnats. Uh, he, he told me like, it is nice to have you if, you have, if you have, uh, changing the subject for just a brief second here, but if you have um, fungus gnats in your house and you have a lot of houseplants, which we have a lot of houseplants in the summertime, we were getting hit with, with these fungus gnats. They were like everywhere. and What a pain. And then if you water your plants from the top of your plant with water it, that's where the fungus gnats are laying their eggs mm-hmm. are in that moist soil in your houseplants. You spray this on the top of your house plants. This will kill the fungus gnats, kill the eggs, and kill the larvae. So the not only not only spider mites, you know, not only spider not mites. Not spider mites, but fungus gnats, Japanese beetles, uh, white flies, uh, the mealy two, bugs. Or two hundred species of pest kills in this. Yeah. So over two hundred species. This stuff is amazing. And it if is you natural. haven't tried it, try it. It's natural. I mean, this stuff is so good. It's not like Roundup or any of those other kind of chemicals. I can take this stuff and spray it directly right on my hands and rub it and rub it in and it, it's not going to hurt me. It's not foul smelling. It's it it's smells, a natural. Yeah, it it's smells good. Natural. It's all natural. So for and those the reason why it works so well, there's stuff in here that will kill these um, spider mites on contact, but also because of the azadaractin, which mm-hmm. is one of the active ingredients in here. Once you spray this on your plant and that spider mite ingest the juice from that plant. When they're babies, yeah. Yeah, babies. they will get that chemical inside of them and it does not allow them to, to morph, to go to the next stage and it kills them from the inside out. So that's the neat thing about the azadaractin. It's a very expensive chemical, uh, but our product is not expensive and because we have other wonderful things in here that work in here besides the azadaractin. But this stuff, we've been working with this for over 10 years now. This stuff is amazing and if we you haven't tried it, I'll put a link below. You can grab some of this stuff. Okay, back to the spider mites here. Okay, so that is how you control the spider mites. But the first thing you need to understand the life cycle because some of the you know some of the pests varies in different cycle, and uh, maybe some of the pests will have a five day cycle or fourteen day cycle. So when you apply any kind of treatment you use, when you apply to kill the bugs you need to know the cycle. Like for spider mm-hmm. mites, they are 25 days mm-hmm. to complete the cycle, right? Days, so right. don't stop spraying right. with, with Anzatec Plus until you complete the cycle, until you don't see spider mites anymore. That's what we did here when we so control. When you have an outbreak, when you say you have spider mites, you mm-hmm. treat it with Azatec. In three to five days, you want to come back. I do it in three days, come mm-hmm. back. We hit it again real lightly, and that catches the ones that are just hatched out. You killed the adults. You kill the adults on the first day, but mm-hmm. the, the, the eggs are still underneath there. When they hatch out, you got to hit them again. And I, I would say 
three to five times with light spray in about mm -hmm. a, seven days or so, you pretty much have got them all under control. Yeah. And so you've ended the light, you've broken the life cycle, and you can control the plant. The plant will regain its. Don't fertilize it when you're treating yeah. a sick plant. Never fertilize your plant after you've been treating it for an outbreak of any type of pest. Don't fertilize it until the plant mm -hmm. is starting. I would say like a month later, then you can fertilize to bring it back quickly. Mm -hmm. And also another uh, to control the spider mites on house plant, you because they love heat and dry. Mostly inside your home is dry heat, and in order to control or manage spider mites. You need to uh, increase your humidity. Increase your humi humidity. Get, a, Get humidifier a humidifier, and uh, some people use. I've got a good humidifier yes. that we use. I'll put a link for that down below too. Mm -hmm. You can find it. It's a, it's an Amazon product, so I'll put a link for it. You guys can get it. This stuff, this one is amazing. I love this. So so far we we don't have problems with spider mites in our greenhouse, mm -hmm. except for the umbrella that we bought from the other growers. It was nice looking, but we did not know that there was infestation going on so i told her not to buy the plant i don't like umbrella plants. i anyway. like umbrella i know you do i umbrella don't care plant. for the slipera. really no i think it's cute because that's it looks like an the umbrella dwarf one, right you know? that's the dwarf one they make another one they have another one they make god makes another one that has bigger leaves on it which i like better i don't like care for the dwarf one but uh that's each every every person has their favorite plants so i hope you you uh, you find this helpful. So again, to manage and control spider mites, you need a humidifier in your home. <coughs> and our greenhouse, we had aquaponics, so mm -hmm. the I humidity. got a question for you. Um, is there any type of plant that is particularly attracted to the spider mite? What plants do they pretty much Oh my God, there are on? 200 species of plants that attack by spider mites. Uh, one of, remember you had a problem of strawberry? You yes. did not know what was that, and yeah, I said... Were, my strawberry leaves were silver on the bottom. I, I didn't think strawberries would be affected by spider mites, and they almost, like, wiped out my whole And my whole also row. cucumber. Cucumber is worse, and it, it killed the cucumber. If you see, like, brownish, and the hip infestation is eggplant that... Eggplant, too. Uh, they infest love eggplant. infestation, when you see, it, like, it's almost like bleach. Mm -hmm. The leaves... Yeah, it turns like silver. A, silver, yeah. and the, if it is too heavy, you can see brown bronzing of the How leaves. About tomato plants? Tomato plants yeah. are susceptible to spider mites. And uh, my eggplant, one day I, I found my eggplant. I, I was examining, I said, what happened to this eggplant? So I had to look at it, you know, in the front and back. There was no weaving, but I see bleaching on the, on the lids. And I realized the sign and symptoms of it was caused by spider mites. So what I did, I removed all the infected leaves, like almost totally taking out all the leaves and then I took it out and spray with acetic plus for almost like two weeks and then it recovered okay well I hope that helps you guys with identifying spider mites in your plants they are more deadly to your plant than your aphids your scales your mealy bugs even though you can see them more readily the spider mite is such a the most deadly the, yeah. killer it's like a it's a ninja. It's a ninja bug because you can't see it. It's doing all the damage, and by the time you recognize your plant is sick, your plant has already like got one foot in the grave. It's it's really hard to bring it back. And they so populate too fast. Here's the other fast. thing you can do is with the Azatec, is with the Azatec, you can also spray your plant as a prophylactic. You don't have to wait until your plant gets sick before mm -hmm. you treat it. It's the same thing like people. We get a vaccine, mm, and we hopefully don't get sick but i can't say much about the one they're giving out right now spray your plant lightly with the mm -hmm. aztec plant underneath as well as on top and this will keep the pest bugs from wanting to attack your plant because they don't like the taste of the uh the azadaract and, and the other uh, product mm -hmm. that's in there they don't like the taste of it they'll move on try to find another plant to attack so, so. there are two mode of action actions with the aztec plus it kills by ingestion and it kills by hydration so it kills the larvae and stopping metamorphosis mm -hmm. then if there is an adult that can fully develop it also kills uh, some of the chemi uh, chemicals of this product also kills the adult by dehydration so when you spray it it makes them dehydrate this, is, this works in three ways it has product in here that suffocates the insect 
It has one in here that kills on contact, and it has mm -hmm. one that kills by ingestion of the plant that they are sucking on will kill them also. So this mm -hmm. is a three-way So give stopper. it a try. So the this ones is you buy in the store, suffocate only. That's all mm -hmm. they do is suffocate, unless you're buying a very, very harmful chemical that you don't want to spray in your house and you don't want to eat any of the fruit or vegetables that it produces because it'll make you sick as it does the insect. This stuff is great. It's all natural. There are no harmful chemicals, as you mm -hmm. saw. I sprayed in my hand. I didn't wash it off. It's still on my hand. So grab a bottle of this stuff, guys. I can't push it enough. It is a miracle saver for mm -hmm. your plants. And if if you're if you're into house plants and you're yeah, spending that is 50, 60 to 100, 200 dollars for a plant, you don't want to have some spider mite come in there and kill your plant. Yes, like uh, you know, especially if you buy like 1,000 of 1,000 plant for uh, what is that? Like uh, philodendron is the oh the the uh, philodendron. So if Delicioso you yeah, alba. delicio albo, especially if you buy that plant and then you are infested with spider mites and kill the plant, that's a lot of money to lose. So yeah. okay, so. guys, that's all we have for you today. If I, if I don't cut it, cut it off, Marceline will keep here talking for an hour, and <laughs> it's the truth. The woman likes to talk. And that's okay. She loves her plants. She loves talking about her plants. But so before we wrap, uh, wrap oh it boy, out, here we go. <laughs> I want to say a uh, shout out to one of my uh, California plant lady. Angela Brown. Angela Brown. Angela Brown. Hi, Angela Brown. Hey, Angela. Hope, hope your citrus is doing fine. Angela's and, gotten uh, into citrus now out in California, and she is doing... Calamansi. Calamansi. And yeah. uh, what is that? Spider. Uh, what is not spider? This uh, finger, finger, I don't know finger what lime, that, yeah, finger booter, lime. Panda boot or something like that. I can't remember what the name of it is. Yeah. So that's it. So just She's shout to... one of our, our uh, subscribers out there in California that's having a lot of fun growing her plants. And uh, if you got, write some comments below, guys. If you guys have questions or whatever, write comments down below. We'll try to answer, we try to answer every single question that somebody writes us. If, you, uh, if, if you're interested in growing plants, become part of our family and subscribe. So that's all for today, guys. Peace out. Peace out.